Yeah, so we've got this area we can run around in. And I think so we can see what's going on a bit better, we can just turn off cast shadows. Oh, we've got that one as well. Cast shadows. Cool. Um now uh so that's that's we got that. So that works fine. But um you may want to have the camera work a little bit different. So um first let's set up some cameras so we can demonstrate the idea. So um you might have like that one and then another one so it's kind of overlapping a bit cool and then you might have one up here and then one over here like that and then these kind of the view snaps to one of these depending on where you are. Cool, so um, we basically want to power the right camera at the right times. So um, uh, first we need to know, let's say we just want to do this left to right, that camera and that camera uh, to start off with. So I'm going to move this plane over here and we're going to find out where this um, player is um, relative to there and how far across he is. So to do that, um, I'll use a tag, call it player, uh, cool, and then I'll probably put it more near the middle, like that, that would do. Uh, cool, so now we have that. We'll use a trigger zone that looks for that tag. So looking for a tag, use up and down on there to look for the player tag. And we want it to be square. And I'll turn the grid on for this. So we'll grab the gizmo as this is open. We can see the gizmo and, and move it around and stuff. So I'll move it over here like that um, and then st stretch out that with L1 hold L1 and use R2 and then you're adjusting the fall off as you can see here on that side so we'll have the fall off like that uh, but what we really want is for it to be over the other side which will become clear why in a moment okay so that's over there we want to stretch it down. We want to stretch it all the way up as well because we want this this functionality to work even if you're up that that end, that that on the top floor, I guess. Uh, we'll put it forward a bit as well. Okay, so let's see what that actually gives us. Uh, don't need that anymore. Now let's just output the. Um, number that that's sending detected. Uh, we'll give it that. Okay, so as we move left, it's going less, and moving right, it's going more. We'll add another pointer for testing this. So, add that, and give it some zoom again. That's probably too much. Um, and we'll just turn these cameras off like that. Okay, so as we move right, it, it increases the number, and as we move left, it decreases. Um, whoa. Uh, so what's actually happening is this fall off. So you have the, the main um, box oh, at that end. Of the main box, this is like the core um, of these settings, and then you have the fall off, which is this like extra box hanging out the side. So, what that means is as you get nearer to the core, it becomes one, 
and then as you go further and further away to this outer side it goes less and less until it gets to zero when you're actually outside the whole trigger zone so we're getting that exact value and we can use that as a kind of relative distance from the right uh, kind of thing yeah so uh, we can use that in logic things so here we're going to use a timeline so this timeline um, represents uh, like the going left and right of this thing over here so if I just plonk these on there so this means while the playhead if you just play that so while the playhead is over this part of the timeline then that camera is powered while the, the playhead is over this part of the timeline that camera is powered and you don't need that so um, but what you can do is if I get a value slider to demonstrate um, plug wires into the playhead and then if you send it as value between 0 and 1 it sets the playhead position on the timeline so then if we set it to 0 0.2 that camera is powered if we set it to 0 0.8 that camera is powered so we can use this to set where on that playhead um, where on that timeline the playhead is at so now if I play it in uh, test mode then as we move left it's powering that that camera and as we move right eventually we go over here that camera is powered and now we're at this view until we move left again and it goes back to the other uh, camera so that's cool and we want these to just cut and then it cuts to this view like a old school like Prince of Persia type game or something like that so that part works uh, but we also want to do the same for the vertical to figure out if it's if we're down here or up there so now we copy the, the trigger zone and we'll move it around so get the, the uh, grid again and we want it to be from up there so let's rotate it like that and we'll just drag that out like that cool so now down here it will be zero if we just uh, adjust that it'll be zero near the bottom and it'll be one near the top uh, Cool. So then we can have this other timeline, um, like that, and turn that off. And you can plug that into the playhead as before, and uh, pin it to the screen. And then I'll just play test again. Cool. So as I jump, you can see it's affecting where it thinks I am vertically so let's do that again so um, now the thing is this just measures how far up we are um, it doesn't like say we can't just put these on there because then it will activate one camera when we're down here and one camera when we're up there what we really want is to is to say um, allow these cameras to work when you're down here and allow these cameras to work when you're up there so what I'll do is I'll make another timeline nested in this one and this will just use the same um, playhead position in this nested timeline so we'll put those these are the ones for the bottom and we'll make these ones top cameras like that uh, and then we'll leave them both off and then depending on where we are through this we'll power 
one of the um, timelines. So let's power that one. So the keyframe. And then if we're over here somewhere, we'll power that one with the keyframe. Um, cool. And then we just set like the range of values of the vertical position. Uh, like that. Just drag it out. So we'll just go 50-50 and then see if that works okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, let's just play test that. Okay, so it's probably going to be uh, too far. So if I just oh, make that one start further over, like that. Cool, and then. Cool, so now we're on the top right one. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And then when we're over here, we're on the top left one. And then if we drop down, we'll be back onto the um, bottom left one. Sorted. I'd like to give a big thank you to my supporters who made this tutorial possible. Jack Power, Hyper Dream Surfer, Martinity DK, X Cantaloupe, Rev Player and MDKD99. Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to continue making these daily tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can support me through the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.